Hey folks, Editing Final Cut here, just giving a little heads up on this game. It deals with some pretty heavy subject matter, including an old history look at the atrocities of World War II. Just wanted to give a little heads up before we get started, so let's get to it. Well, it seems uh, at least our mother escapes this bunker, but did anyone else? I wonder if there's some sort of like nuclear reactor down here as well. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna summon Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. Something isn't right about this place. What do you mean? There's a lot not right about this whole place. Being here. What do you mean you don't remember being here? Hmm. This seems like it was pretty well built in. Oh. Yeah, what is this place? Oh, it took over there. Ah, the tree again. The tree. Yeah. It's the same as the one in your mom's drawings. Yes, it is. <gasps> oh. That's Lucian, the man yes. You're for. And there's the Minka. Well. They look like they were friends. It looks like yes. that. Before he became a fanatic, yes. Got older. Yep. Oh, so they were gonna be married. Oh, that is one cute baby. Wait, there's a missing photo there. So is that us? Is that us? Your photo fits the oh. face. Oh. But that doesn't make any sense. It would so we were born here. Is you? Were we the last baby to be born here? Oh, man. Okay. So, why doesn't she remember this place, then? Yeah, so this is like... Uh, this is Lucian's royal chambers, it seems like. Oh, no, I don't... I can't imagine what you're going through learning that Lucian is your father. I mean... He will never be my father. And... He seems like an evil, an evil guy. Okay, just... Yeah, okay. But the thing is, I think he's also your father. I guess we'll see. I think... I think Lucian was going to use us in the machine, but our mother fathers. fled oh, with us. I mean, Lucian's study. Yeah. All right, let's learn. There's got to be some knowledge bombs in here, right? Okay. Who's I leave you. Safe? Hmm. I leave this with you. When the time comes, it is the gods who will judge my actions. I will stand before them. I will look them in the eyes, and I will not blink, because I know that one cannot have a higher purpose than devoting their whole life to saving their loved ones. Saving who, though? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what do we have? Oh, it's an audio recording. My dear friends. Now, that's not it. Okay. Yes, much better. Okay. Recently, there have been many events. Okay, what happened? What happened? That left us at a loss for words. Things that lack any hmm. rational explanation. Recoveries from illness that seemed oh. impossible. The appearance of farm animals that were thought to be extinct. Wait, how did this happen? Believed that someone has been watching over us. Still, so this is like the arrival of the goat, right? The miracle goat. That is, until now. Lucian! Fate has brought us here to the land of... Oh, that's who they're worshipping. The underworld. Lucian, Obiat. Give me a moment, please. So that's Dominica. You know, I get nervous before these things. I I'm think. I'm sorry, just hurry up. It's getting cold. In wait, maybe not. Hold on. That doesn't make it. Well, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go back and, and read more. Okay. Brothers and sisters, we do not know when we shall leave this bunker. We must fend for ourselves, and it warms my heart to see the spirit of camaraderie among us each and every day. Yet, events have transpired that are hard to explain rationally. Lorenk Pian uh, Pianaziak found a new tunic when his old one could no longer be patched up. 
Jabonoshoa found a new hoe after her old one broke, and Jedrick Pletkow returned to health, though we never knew what afflicted him or how to cure it. The list goes on. I have the feeling that someone is watching over us, and recently he has given us a sign. Fate's tangled path has brought us to the kingdom of Veles, the Slavic god of the waters of the underworld, yet also of song and poetry. I feel it is he who is behind all these marvels. He is giving us signs so that we will believe. Let us erect an altar and statue to worship him. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, thanks so much for stopping by, JC. Hope you have a great rest of your day and night. And hopefully your uh, new job treats you well. Oh, it's a it's a memory module computer. Hmm. Curious. So we converted this room into again, again, like a private altar almost. Is there anything else in here? Hmm. Yeah, I I I, I want to know what the timeline is because it seems like this is still before Dominica tries to escape. Or I guess maybe our mother. <sighs> hmm. Alright, well we press forward. Can we talk about what just happened? Um, there's a lot to, to. There's I a lot to unpack. The console room should be close. Oh, I don't sure? know. I feel like maybe we should we should break down the the truth bombs. As far as I remember. Where did they all go? Yeah. They must have left just before you got here. But that's I that doesn't make any sense. No, you are not telling me the truth. You are most definitely not. Hmm. So it's an altar to someone. Up here, underground. Yeah. Do you remember the wall outside? Sure I do. Before the bombs hit, I had a normal life. But on you the were surface. born here. Before the bombs hit? Wasn't that like twenty years ago? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. See, so yeah, these are all shrines. Wait, did everyone just die down here? Yeah, I think everyone literally just passed away. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like all of the altars are for the for the survivors of the second group who made a life down here. And and you know, since they all became infertile because of the radiation, no one was able to, you know, succeed them. Okay. I think I think that's what happened. But the question is, still is, who is Ava? Man, this is a wild journey. This this is not where I thought this was going to end up going. Like, when we first found... Alright, it's like... First, you're like, okay, the bunker had opened up. Oh. That was your friend, wasn't it? Yeah. Was he really so young when it happened? Uh, when what happened? What happened? <sighs> Eva? Oh, man. But then, that doesn't make sense. Like, how is she still so young? I mean, yeah, she has to be the computer, right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But then when did... I guess the question is... When did we get taken out of the bunker? Because it seems like we were definitely born here. I think. Well, it actually doesn't say our name. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Technically, the, the book there doesn't say... Yeah. I wonder if that photo in the in the the book was actually Ava, and we are the second it child. It can be much further. Oh no! Please, you need to help me. I don't know how. Okay. Oh wow. Well, I don't know where we're crawling to, but I I can't imagine it's going to be the good answers. Oh. Your name's on the grave. Yeah. What's going on? Here? This is your grave. I don't. I don't remember. I think I you remember. do remember. Yeah. That's his name. 
You're the daughter. You're the one in the photograph. I've come here. But you wanted me to help you. You can't help me. No one can. This place was built on lies and death. There's well, that's no true. That is very true. I'm shutting it down. It's over. You hear me? It's over. Eva? Eva? Yeah. If he's your father, then I will say this is whether you want me to or not. Yeah. I, I, I think they're siblings. Oh, jeez. I don't think she... I think it's like, you know, almost like a self-protection. She forgot what happened because it was too painful. And or the, the memory modules that we inserted helped her recover some of that memory. So yeah, it seems like Lucian, finding out how this machine worked, used his firstborn child to literally turn the machine back on. Yeah, like a trauma response, but like a biomechanical one where she literally like deleted the memory. Oh, come on. Before she, you know, like melts down like the nuclear reactor in here or something. And then at some point, it seems like our maybe our mother got pregnant after she left or uh, before she left. Like she saw what Lucian did while still pregnant. She left the bunker and then raised us outside of it. Yeah, I think maybe that's what happened. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Ava. It's probably your half-brother at the very least. Up you go. Come on. So yeah, it seems like uh, our shared mother was a, a prisoner here as well. But maybe not? Maybe it's just a name. But it does look exactly like the drawings from, like, the flashbacks. Wait, what? This place- this place is endlessly huge. Alright, press forward. Yeah, this is not where I thought this was gonna go at all. And I am, like, pleasantly surprised. The direction of the story... ...is very unique. At least for a video game. As long as she decides she doesn't want to kill us, that would be great. <laughs> Alright, let's get this hatch open. Perfect! And... Hop! Oh, it's- yes, this is one of the elevators. That's what this room is. Ah, the tree. It's a scary image now. Knowing- knowing the- the atrocities they were doing down here. Oh, what the hell is down there? Okay, well, let's press forward. Some... Yeah, can't read that. Can't speak German, can't read German. Okay. Whoa, yeah, this place is super unique looking. Yeah. So this area still maintains, like, its industrial look. Especially compared to, like, the village that they built down there. What do we have down here? And open you. Uh, more German documents. Very helpful. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, this, this can help turn it on. All right, so this is another memory log from the computer that, at this point, I am, like, 99% certain is Ava. All right, restoring last failure report. Ah, Ava. Yes, host zero is Ava. Oh I'm my god. Sure that, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm forgetting something. Yeah, Lucian. Stop. The faithful need not be afraid. The 
Oh man, he literally he literally sacrificed his his daughter. So this is 1967. As for the others, we must hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Oh jeez. Just remember to monitor their heart rates. So Ava was literally watching over them. Drastic. Hmm. Wait, what's that on the monitor there? Enabling Overwatch mode. Successful. Ah. Scanning for weapons. Threat level low. Audio detection. Okay. Lucien. Yep. Welcome to our humble home. So this is them coming into the basement, like the the bunker. In like the prison. Man, he literally installed himself as like the religious dictator. That was the agreement. And you have stood by your word. Oh, this guy really became a monster. We who have been blessed by the gods will prove the power of our faith to the doubtful. Oh no. Oh, scanning for Dominica. Colonist not detected. Threat level moderate. Performing environmental scan. Uh, a security scan for the guard post takes place for the colonist or a security scan for of the village takes place for the colonist. Um, guard post? I don't know which is the better option. Scanning for Dominica, colonist not detected. Alert, alert. Switch to overview. Enabling audio detection, so. What do we got here? You damn fools! Uh, cursing in Polish, I guess. The slightest idea. You will feel the wrath of oh, the gods. no. Oh, no. Keywords detected. Wrath of the gods. Voice. Oh, man. He programmed this command into her. Oh, my God. He's really... really oh, my God. He He's sedating them. Warning. Sedative level high. Risk of lethal dose low to medium. Emergency set of release deactivated. Yes. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Risk of lethal dose, medium to low. Unauthorized colonist detected at main core. Oh. Warning, physical damage detected. Oh my god. Dominica is literally destroying the computer. Communication systems malfunction. Medical clinic malfunction. Ventilation system malfunction. Set at a level high. Risk of lethal dose, low to high. Ooh. Or maybe not. Maybe this was just a, a, a error that occurred. Oh. Okay, so the system rebooted. Unauthorized presence detected. Colonist identification, colonist identification. Okay, so it is Dominica. Threat level critical. Initiate colonist. Lockdown successful. Colonist Dominica. So, isolated in buffer zone. This is it for me, huh? Do what you want. I refuse to be part of your oh, man. any longer. Yes, exactly. She overdosed them. Yeah, she said it like the sedative overdose when she was in malfunction. Um, ooh, no isolation, isolation. View room map. And... The unfaithful are no more. Oh, so Lucian... The wrath of the gods upon themselves. Lucian is still alive, though. Do you understand? Oh, my God. They are to blame. But we are still together. Everyone oh my god. He created a nightmare. What happened to her? To who? Your daughter or Dominica? Oh my god. So she accidentally, Ava, you know, in the computer, accidentally murdered them because of a system malfunction caused by Dominica. And then. It was just Dominica and Lucian left, I guess. Oh, that's a bad combination. More specifically, Lucian, because he seems like an actual monster. Uh, is there anything else around here? No. Just want to make sure. Every piece of information is vital. Okay, back into this room. Oh. I definitely heard something. Oh, the elevator's back on. 
And can we use it now? Aha. She reactivated the, the elevator. Maybe after we, we we know what happened, she she's willing to you know confront us. So yeah, these are the memory modules. Okay, what is going on over here? Alright, we have a lever here. Let's pull this down. Oh. God. Again, you think this this is about one kind of horror, and then it turns into an old kind of other. I, I am very impressed with their ability to keep pulling back more and more layers to this horrifying, like, mystery. Oh, are we going into the computer core? Oh, is that- oh! Is this where this all is headed? I mean, that makes sense, right? Perhaps the only living entity... Yeah, I wonder if that's where she is. Alright, well, let's look around, see if we can't find a way to get to her. I don't know what we're even gonna do when we get to her. Like, are, are we, how, do, how do we rescue someone that is only a machine, maybe? Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe she is alive somehow. Oh, jeez. I'm also really impressed that they continue to evolve the, the visual language of these parts of the structure because it's very clear that different parts of this facility were built at different times. Like, they're, they're horrifying human farming brain-computer hybrid experiment. It was definitely the first facility here. And then they build more and more on top of that as their needs to create this, you know, nuclear bunker evolved. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's let's check out the the first two rooms. See what we can find. What do we have in here? It looks like a freezer of some kind. Oh, it's like a, a miniaturized greenhouse. They're like raising some sort of I'm I'm assuming some like hardy crops. What do we have here? Ah, Lucian Kalenda. So he was one of the, the, the scientists down here. Dr. Rudolf Schroeder noted in his findings that the biocomponents hippocampus suffered the most stress during excessive use of the system. What he failed to notice was that there was numerous ways to counter the stress through non-invasive methods. Precautions such as limiting the number of operations the biocomponent uh, can work on simultaneously or applying a shift work system for most day-to-day -day operations can greatly decrease the stress the biocomponent Biocomponent is used very interestingly here because it's definitely a human brain, right? We have already exceeded the longevity of the most durable biocomponents by a factor of 10. This is even more impressive considering we are only operating with a single host. Unfortunately, there is no denying that there is a substantial deterioration in the biocomponent's memory. Delusions are also becoming increasingly frequent. For this reason, and this reason alone, I have decided to conduct a physical procedure, injecting the biocomponent with a modified version of the drug co cocktail the Nazis formulated to create an uber soldier, the one that we read about before. I must say, rather worrying, since no such experiments have previously been carried out, but the situation is dire. So Dr. I mean, Lucian knew what they were doing down here. So this is where you spend all of your time? I mean, you can I came to talk. Yeah. Not right now. I know we haven't seen eye to eye for a very long time. But uh -huh. I wanted to put our differences aside. Oh, do you now? I'm here to extend my condolences. Thank you. But I have to get back to work. That's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. People at the processing oh. plant are worried. No one's seen you since the funeral. So I'm busy. Interesting. As I said, I need to get back Someone to work. I understand that's how you operate, die? but this obsession, hmm. it's not healthy. During the experiments, Wait. before they occupied it. The plant isn't overloading the system, is it? No. Everything's working fine. Hmm. People are calling it a miracle. Good. Good. Oh. I can't imagine what it's like to lose a child. Okay. I don't have time for it. Time for what? He... he Create didn't... the death of your daughter? His daughter didn't understand. die. I can still do something. She's yeah. gone, Lucia. 
You can't bring her back. Oh. There's not going to be a second miracle. Interesting. Just so she did die. So hmm. He faked her death? Maybe. I'm now now I'm split. Did he fake her death or did he try to bring her back by putting her into the machine? Ooh. Both both ideas are unsettling. All right, so ah, another science log from Lucian. It is undeniable that the drugs used by the Nazis have beneficial results on the host when, and I cannot stress enough how important this is, used correctly. Any alteration to the formula, however slight, could be fatal. I found the side effects to be particularly useful, especially considering the current situation among the colonists. There may come a point at, w uh, at which we will need to defend ourselves. It's gas form, however. It's not easy con to contain. This is why I deemed it necessary to create a vaccine, which I will administer to the believers. There is no reason to risk the well-being of those who dedicated to trust, decided to trust me. I just need to make sure they take it. Well, that should, not, that should not be difficult. They will do anything if they think it will strengthen their faith in the gods. A medically enhanced ritual wine should do just fine. So he tried to inoculate them against a poison that he had created to use against non-believers. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else back here? You know, Lucian, you you really did continue the horror show that was taking place in this in this bunker. You really, you know, helped maintain the con continuity of crimes against humanity. And to that, I I say I hope that you suffer greatly. All right. So what's in here? This looks like some sort of server. Hmm. Hard to say. I mean, it, it sounds like this is a server room. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's an audio recording. Happy birthday to oh. You. Yeah, look at all these memory Happy modules here. Birthday, dear Eva. Happy birthday oh, no. You. I've got a present for you. Do you now? This is your little brother. Oh. Wait, is he talking about us? Give him some time before he's big enough to join you. Oh, literally he was going to put us in the machine as well. You don't want him to. Who are you talking to? I'm just talking to our sweet little boy. I oh, he was going to put us in the machine as well. He wanted me to join her. Oh. Her. You know where. Come on, I mean, again, we, we are playing as a child, so he doesn't quite have the awareness of what was happening, and that's why... Our, our mother ran away with us. Ah, to Professor Wolfgang Winkler, Director of Medicine for the Kell d'Intelligence Program. Dear Professor, preliminary research indicates that the rapid consumption of biocomponents is due to stress caused by constant stimulation from electrical impulses combined with the enormous amount of information being process, processed. Excessive stress promotes uh, hypothalamic... Uh, uh, pituitary adrenal axis activity, in turn causing the excretion of, among others, cortisol, thereby damaging the hippocampus. No further factual data is available at this time. Regarding our hypothesis, we currently have one. The excellent conditions in which the biocomponents are raised... Oh. He's literally talking about raising brains that are capable of being computers. Oh, this is so horrifying. Um, yes. The biocomponents are raised increases the processing power of the system to which they are attached. Yet the use of solely positive reinforcement during rearing increases the re release of dopamine and creates an addiction to it. This contributes to a lack of stress resistance and coping mechanisms. We should investigate the effect of introducing a more stressogenic rearing method. So yes, they were literally farming young brains that were being cultivated for the specific task of entering the computer and that's why earlier on when they mentioned they knew the terrible horrors that it took to make this computer work that they would never turn it back on but Lucian obviously disagreed oh god oh Lucian you monster yeah this stuff looks like super modern but I guess that's the thing where it's like there a human brain. Yeah. This is the, the, this is like the the alternative history stuff, right? Because they built this bio biomechanical supercomputer, they were able to advance their technology. 
Okay. The Nazi neurobiological research team sought to transfer information between the hippoth uh, hippocampal neurons responsible for memory and spatial perception. Previously, three methods for achieving this were known. The Nazi team, however, discovered a fourth via the jumping of electrical impulses. They experimented on human hippocampal cross-sections and found that low-level vibration can generate, can generate magnetic poles, which in turn activate neighboring cells. Neurons thus may communicate without electrochemical synaptic transmission, even though surgically separated. Therefore, neuron signals within the brain can be transmitted without any actual contact. This was the foundation of how they handled the communication between the two biocomponents. The two most durable hosts were connected between March 1945 and August 1947. They lasted longer and were more effective than any other pair of biocomponents. The Nazis never made the connection as to why they functioned better than any previous pair of hosts. The host names were Alex Sikorsky and Michael Sikorsky. Siblings. And that's why he wanted to put us in the machine as well because it would enhance the durability of it. You know, to say that he was a monster, I feel like is, you know, putting it very, very lightly. You know, he just went for the, the, the horrors the Nazis went with and just ran with it. He just had, you know, a time of his own. But that means that Ava is still in here. She is still a part of the machine. Oh, and the way they refer to it as biocomponents makes me doubt that we're going to be able to get her out in a way that will let her live. I don't know, but maybe she'll just want a release. What the hell is this? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I don't like, I don't like this. Oh no. Acceptance. The final stage. All right. Floor five. Oh no, our poor, maybe, maybe full sister, maybe half sister. Oh, wow. This is incredible looking. Like I said, the visual language that they've created for this area is really cool. Again, hats off to the team who made this for creating such a bizarre, haunting, and horrifying environment that, like, makes you want to explore it, but every step you take, you're like... Oh, this is just filled with horrors and sadness. Okay, it's time. It was fate that brought us to this place, and it is fate that now leads us away. We leave tomorrow in search of another place that we can call home. We mistook this place for paradise. We know now that it was never meant to be our paradise, but it could be yours. I know you will come here, if not in a year, then perhaps in five. If not in five, then in ten. But you will come here. You cannot avoid it. It may seem cruel, but the gods have a plan for us all. You can you can try to run from your destiny, but it will catch up with you in the end. You will come here, and you will have a chance to make everything right. You know what needs to be done, Shimon. No. Wait, so he left that note for us. No, no, no. I, I do not want to enter. Oh, God. We, we are not going to enter this machine. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, we actually get to, like, you know, control this. Oh, my God. So we're making our way to the, to the actual core. Where the bio component that is our sister, Eva is being used to control the facility. Yeah, this this game has such a unique look to it. You know, from from the the entrance to here, it, it goes through so many different changes to its visual design. But like cohesively, like it makes sense considering, you know, the purposes of all the facility 
and when they were built. And who and who controlled them too, right? Oh my god. Oh, are we getting another flashback? Oh, it's it's our mom. Shimon, do you want me to read something to you? No, the light is hurting my eyes today. Oh no. You want to draw her for me, would you? Yeah. I got upset when you found that I shouldn't have. Okay. It's okay, mom. I hope he forgives me. What do you mean? I hope who forgives you? When he sees. What a smart, brave young man you turned out to be. Oh uh, my god. What are you talking about? Forgive you for what? Forgive me for taking you yeah. away from him. But he was going to turn us into a, a machine. Mom, I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> oh man. Oh. Not your fault. You yeah. Did what you had to. He was a he was a monster. And what what he wanted to do to us, what he had done to Ava, was inhuman. Oh God. I don't think we're gonna like what we find, and we haven't heard from Ava in a long, long time. Well, it looks like we're definitely getting somewhere, though. Yeah, this is so cool. Like, the wires entangled with the roots. Okay. Well, we found our way. Ava. It's time to get reunited, I guess. Oh. Wait, is this the computer? Oh, wait, is that her in there? Yeah. That's her. Oh, Ava. No, no, don't. How you imagined it find me? No, it isn't. Everything came back to me when you found that grave, like a flood. Oh, I'm sorry. To think I was having to relive that terrible trauma for all that time. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Yes, it is. Thought, You're alive. Well, I am. In a Dude. way. That's good. Mm, at this point. I don't really know. Shimon. Yeah. What I do know is that I was really upset when I told you to leave. No, that's fair. Now I'm glad you didn't listen. There are so many things I want to. I'm tired, Shimon. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I think I'd like to go. Oh. What do you mean? To release her. I want you to unplug me. Yeah. Eva. Why? This Shimon, seems like an existence of suffering. Oh man. I mean, you're 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 our sister. You're my sister. I always wanted to have a sibling. I'm glad I can call you brother. Thank you for saying oh, that. Oh, Ava. You know, I tried to forgive him for <sighs> So yeah, for Lucian abandoned the the the, the, the base. Do you think that makes me a bad person? No. Tell me what kind of father condemns his own daughter to oblivion? Uh, a terrible one. A monster. I'm not sure what to say. Uh, Lucian faked your death to save you. Lucian wanted to sacrifice me. Lucian that is true. Lucian wanted to sacrifice my life to save you. That's how much he loved you. I'm glad he didn't. I'd rather have a brother in the end. No, he wanted us both in there. Lucian lied about your death to save you. Well, I wouldn't say save. I think he loved you as a father more than anything else. Um, Shimon, I don't know about really that. A lot to take in. I don't know what to do with it. 
I disagree with that. My life here will look hot. You think I'll be able to go outside, see the sunshine? What no. happens if there's a power outage and I'm all alone? Yeah. Or if someone comes and tries to take this place and use it? You think I'll be strong enough to defend myself? You're stronger oh, than you think. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when oh, someone dies. I guess fair enough. What do you uh, think? Ah, man. Ooh, I, I mean, I guess the, the true thing is I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, it's, it's kinda, terrifying. It makes you feel small. Mm-hmm. Insignificant. That's probably what we are at the end of the day. I mean, in a I way. I you're ready. Ready for what? To make the decision. Oh, I man. I Oh, I don't even... How do we make this choice? Oh. I mean... Oh, man. I mean, her wishes. That's the thing, right? Her wish is to be unplugged. She does not want to be in this machine. And I think it is correct to honor her, honor her wish and not make the selfish choice, which is to not let her go. I will do it. Like, this is her autonomous choice. Eva? I'm here. Thank you, Shimon. It's a relief to know my fate is settled. But that leaves us with you. What are you going yeah. to do? Uh, I'm thinking about leaving this place. This place is just horrors. I want to leave this place. Endless horrors. What do you think? I think you're making the right choice. I think There's so too. Nothing good to be found here no. Anymore. This no. Place can it is evil from the top to the bottom. So, what's your final decision, Shimon? Ooh. I'm leaving. I'm I leaving. Take care out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. I mean, the other major Goodbye. choice is to stay here Goodbye. and not unplug her, but th th it seems like we are just existing in a place of inhumanity. This place is just a monument to death and cruelty. So that's what I meant by the host, yeah. So there was a previous host in there when this place was taken over, but it failed. Yeah. And then Lucien installed her to take over control of the facility. Oh, man. Oh. But she's free now. No longer a prisoner. God damn. Exactly. May she rest in peace. Released from, you know, her, her digital prison. In, in a tomb of, of cruelty and inhumanity. And then now we may continue on. Hopefully finding some remnant of society left. Of people. Oh, man. A paradise there was never to be found in there. Yeah, from the moment from, from Go, that whole facility was just a monument to evil, inhumanity, slavery, suffering, very dark. But at the very least, we freed her from that. And, and the, the burden that was foisted upon her unwillingly. Oh. That, that was a heavy hitter there. Very interesting setting. So unique. 
Like, that's an alternate history that I have never seen explored. I, I wonder if that's based on anything. That was super cool. Yeah, Paradise Lost. Very interesting. I, I would actually recommend people uh, check it out for themselves, mainly just to see if there are other avenues to explore, because there were definitely some choices in both the paths we took and what we chose to do. Yeah, that that was that was really cool. You know, I think I think it has some rough spots, but overall, I think that was pretty well executed. I think you know the the parts where it kind of falters one and this is a very specific thing but for a game that's about moving moving around an environment that you're exploring i feel like the run speed was a little slow and that might be a technical thing where they yeah i did this definitely seems like this was a, a polish developed game from top to bottom again though those eastern Bloc games they, they they have such a unique charm and character to them yeah, lots and lots of Polish names. But yeah, the movement speed might be a technical thing. So I could see that being a hard thing to solve for. But if, if the movement speed was maybe 20% faster, it might help out with the feeling like it's just going a little slow. Because then you could move from the different environments a little bit quicker. And the other one being that sometimes the voice acting is very good. And sometimes it's a little flat. And I feel like that unevenness might just be from the fact that this is maybe the English uh, voice versus maybe in, in, in the Polish voice acting, they are able to capture the, the dialogue a little bit better because maybe they have a Polish team who, who like speak, understand, listen, read, whatever. They're, they're native Polish speakers, so that might help with the performances. Because I feel like there are moments where the the the, the people playing um, uh, Shimon and Ava are like really good. I think the audio logs of uh, Lucien and Dominica are pretty good. I think they hold up. But uh, yeah, those are the only two things that really I feel like hurt the story. And there's some all like you know little technical things. But overall, I think this was a really compelling, unique exploration game. I think it was a really... Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's... Yeah, this is an original story, it seems like. It seems like... Yeah, it's not based on, like, a book or... Like, a series or anything. Because it's a really unique alternate history take. It's, like, a super specific moment in history. You know, it seems like Pearl Harbor did not happen. And then they expanded it into this wild narrative. The These... This bunker, this story with the 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 revolution or not the revolutionaries, but the the resistance fighters who broke into the bunker. The bunker collapsed. They took it over, and then this whole other narrative played out. Yeah, super unique setting. I thought it was I thought it was pretty well done. Again, just a, a couple small things, but I also think they're part of the charm. So I I would say that I I don't necessarily think they need to be fixed. But I think they are things that are holding it back from being the best version of itself. But I really enjoyed this. This was really cool. I thought the environments were gorgeously detailed and told like the environments themselves told the story in addition to the notes and the audio logs and everything. And I think that's a compelling and an important part of any exploration game. If you have a narrative set in a location, the location should also tell narrative. And I think this does a really good job of that. And it's a super sad story, and it's filled with so much darkness and inhumanity. Uh, something that you don't see a lot of in, in games. Like this kind of like, yo, this part of history was extremely bad, and the things that were done should never be forgotten, ever. <laughs> I absolutely think this is like a super special game, and I highly recommend uh, people play it for themselves, because I had a great time playing it, and I hope uh, you did too.